What's going on, everybody? I have, like, probably the quickest mail week in a long, long, long time for you guys. It's four cards only. Although, we did have the Labor Day holiday and everything. This is everything probably from, like, let's say Wednesday or Thursday through, like, today in the mail. So, really, it's only one package missing. I'll show that in another video when it comes in. It's got some stuff from Joey in it for me. Believe it or not, I did well. Three out of four cards are football cards. And if you're watching this video, Gridiron Pick'em starts Thursday. Check the other two videos out. Because you don't want to miss it this year, I'm telling you. There's like 20 or 25% of the participants only, so you're down to like anywhere from a fourth to a fifth of what's normally in there to win like top three. I think it's like, if you take me out of it, it's only like seven or eight people. All right, up first. Travis Etienne, Spectra Rookie. This is the... I forget the name of it. Celest Celestial or something like that. But it is numbered out of 75. I think this one was the one I was doing like 60-ish. I'm pretty sure. Been a while since I looked at... Well, I really been a while, but it was a while earlier today. And I'm kind of like uh, brain dead here. Up next, Chris Olave, Optic Gridiron Kings Rookie Auto. This was number 99. This I know is going for $100. I remember that. Uh, I'll do the other football, then I'll show you my favorite card. I know it's not football, my favorite card. Don't haze me in the comments, please. All right, anyhow, Justin Jefferson, Panini Prism, PSA 10. Surprisingly... This here's held its value better than Luca and Zion and Morant. These are actually selling at like a hundred bucks. All right, this is actually my favorite card just because I think I don't watch a lot of baseball. I know you guys are probably gonna cook me on this too, and I'm not talking about the the new cool way of saying cooked. As in, I have I hired a twelve year old kid to go get cards cheaper than I can type cook. I think some of you guys will understand what I'm saying by that, but anyhow. I think he's going to be, um, we call it Rookie of the Year. If you really look at stats, he's played less games than um, Rushman and stuff. I don't know. I think he might be the guy for uh, Rookie of the Year. I could be wrong. I know. He's the Red Sox. Yoshida, uh, 299. I'll center left and right a little. I think I'm going to just send this in to be graded just to get the 9, to be honest. I mean, it's still a mint 9. Um, not really mad if I get the nine on it, to be honest. I haven't really looked it over, but that's just one of those things. I do have some PSA that's out. I have a vintage order you probably won't see until next spring. Um, it only has like five or six cards in it. We're sitting here, like Hank Aarons and stuff like that. I did just mail off the NFL package one today, but it's nothing real crazy. I just did a lot of the 17 Prism um, numbered cards out of that. And believe it or not, it was a lot less numbered cards back then if you're new into collecting. But a lot of that stuff, i seen there's a lot of guys building sets with it, and there's, like, no pop on some of the cards. And I'm talking about some of the stars like Cooper Cup, Adrian Peterson, um, Ben Roethlisberger, Eli Manning, people like that. But other than that, that is it, guys. I am set up at the Louisville Sports Card Show this weekend. It is called the Derby City Card Show. If you guys are around, stop by, say hello. If you guys got stuff to sell, I'm buying. Um, looking like I always am. If you got good stuff, I could pay better. If it's stuff like the Justin Jefferson Prism, you know, it's stuff like that I can't pay because I don't know how long it's going to sit. And if I auction it, it could dip. Worse than Daniel dipped. But other than that, I think that is it for the news that I have for everybody for the week. I know a lot of crazy things have gone on. You know, Panini lost their lawsuit. owes like $25 million to Wild Card and all that stuff. But, you know, I, I think I'm going to start going back more to just cards because we I've done so many videos over COVID about scams, trim cards, swapping out patches. I mean, there's a guy... Who did a video on, I don't know if it was Instagram or TikTok, and showed him removing a patch and putting one back in. I don't know. Card companies need to start getting smart. The database that's uh, with... Oh, I did a video on, too, and I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head. It's, it's programmed in. But they have pictures of, like, when the card first sold or first was pulled. 
And at least if you're going to buy some high-end, see if it's on that first to know if it was a swapped out patch or not. But I really think card companies should have some type of database to where it shows every patch in every card and you know if it was ever swapped out or not. But again, they're more worried about, you know, giving us 10,000 parallels of every single card. At the same time frame, their quality control is horrible. Why give us a database on something we could actually be productive on? But other than that, guys, take care. Have a great week. I am out. I should have some good video footage this time from the Derby City Card Show. Uh, let's see. And then that'll be pretty much it. Only one other show I'll hit up. I think that's two weeks later, like the 23rd of September. I'll do the Louisville one. And then I may be down for a little bit. I have a little neck procedure on the 27th of September. Not the crazy. It's not like a major surgery where I'm like, getting like bones done and all that kind of stuff or like a herniated disc getting fixed, even though it is herniated, but not far enough. But I may be down now for a couple days. So if it's dry for a few, that's probably why. Just until I'm able to get a little bit of mobility back in the neck and be able to look left and right. <laughs> but that, guys, take care. Have a good one. I will catch you guys next video.